If you'd like to encounter black history with a message for the present day, then you might want to see a new production of It's About Time. Put together by 3131 Productions, the play overlaps heroes from history with some of today's local activists to tell us about the play and upcoming performances are its writer and director and the company's CEO, Latifa Ali, and one of the cast members, Musakula Masakoy. Thank you both for being with us. Thank you. Thank you. I, I'm going to start with uh, Latifa and, and the title of this. It's about time. It means, I guess, like saying we've waited long enough, but it could mean something else, too. Yeah, it means a lot of things to a lot of people. And, and it's funny because it's kind of like a sideline joke because every time I, I speak with people about it, they say, what is the play about? I say, it's about time. And then there's just this pause, you know. And so it is about time does ring a bell in terms of we're, it's, it's now. But it also is about time, which is kind of a very unusual thing to kind of write about. You know, it raises question marks. Now, speaking of time, you, you've just told me this is a play you wrote between the election of 2016 and Kwanzaa in that year. Uh, what's the importance of that? I mean, I think it was a, a time where there was a lot of upheaval of, of energy. There was, you know, initially when I was asked um, to pull together a piece for this, it was through Roxbury Community College, and they were asking me to do something for Kwanzaa around healing. And I was working with the Kwanzaa committee um, in Boston to do something. And we came up with this idea of doing skits, which actually evolved into being a play um, in February 2017. Well, so you are a performer uh, who plays the Queen of Sheba, but you've also been involved with healing. Tell us about that. I'm a breast cancer survivor. Um, I was diagnosed with my first breast cancer in uh, 2012, um, and I had a mastectomy, and then um, November 2018, I had my second mastectomy. So I continue to just try to encourage people in the community, younger people, to listen to their bodies um, in order to, um, you know, ho hopefully get detected earlier, find, you know, earlier detection helps for an earlier um, prevention and, and, and things of, along those lines. Did you work with some survivors as well here? I do, yes. Um, I speak with survivors. Um, I have um, hosted fashion shows and fundraisers because I come from the world of fashion. Um, I've hosted fundraisers, fundraisers under fashion, under theater, um, music, um, just to raise money and awareness. And um, through that, I've met other survivors. I encourage them and invite them to be a part of the show in any way that they can possibly um, be involved. Latifa, there are some other cast members that people will probably recognize as familiar names and as activists, like Mariama White Hammond. Talk about her. Yeah, so we have Reverend uh, Mariam White Hammond, who um, is um, an amazing fireball. She, she is, I think, has the essence of Fannie Lou Hamer, and that's the part that she plays in um, It's About Time. Um, she does so much on her own and in, 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 in doing work in the community that she kind of embodies all of the, the spiritual likeness of her. And so we're really excited to match those two personalities on this stage. And I think people are going to be amazed about how well she does at that part. Well, so what about the, the, the character you play, the, the Queen of Sheba? I mean, she's in the Bible. There, there are legends about her, spiritual allegories. Uh, uh, how do you see her? Oh, gosh. I, I actually see her as... You know, in one of the lines, she's a fellow priestess. I see her as the priestess. I see her as all of what you've described, um, more of a queenly character, but very, um, very emotionally involved, as well as um, somebody who's very strong. Um, and I enjoy playing the part of, of being Sheba. Um, you know, she uses her, her abilities as a queen as well as her abilities as a woman as well as her abilities as somebody who is um, drawing from strength to teach um, the young Kabira, the uh, young Kabira about what it was back then for her to succumb to being in love with someone and then also being um, a, a force together with that person. Uh, tell us about uh, Kabira Latifa. This, this is the connection with the younger audience, uh, I guess, right? Yeah, so Kabira the Great is, a, a, is basically a, a teenager 
who finds herself in a time uh, with Kwan, at Kwanzaa trying to go uh, with her family when she, she's kind of mulled over by a crowd and then spun into this time warp. And in that time warp, she goes to um, the ninth century to visit with Queen of Sheba, who's actually in labor, which is very interesting. Um, she then goes on to implement Mansa Musa in, of Mali, and then goes on to visit with Fannie Lou Hamer. And then the question is, will she come back, and will she come back whole? What's really interesting is that we double cast every role, especially in our first run. And one of the miracles of the play is that although we looked hard and, 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 and all over the place to get her, uh, we double cast two Kabira the Greats. And Kabira means the great, that it means that in Arabic. We double cast both of them, and they both ended up having the same, being the same age, being born on the same date, and being born at the same time. Mm -hmm. So we was like, this is right. It's about time. Uh, Musa, what, what about you? Go back to when you were a teenager. D did you have encounters, at least in your head, with some of these characters in this play? No, it's surprising. I grew up here in Boston. Um, I didn't learn more about um, these figures until possibly high school. Um, my senior year of high school and then into college is when I learned more about the, the figures and um, different people in African history and African American history. Lajiva, I guess that's the, the whole reason here. There are things that we don't learn in high school that we're supposed to know, right? There are things that we, we don't learn in high school. There are stories that we learn in books that we're trying to bring alive. So it's not just about what you read. It's about how do you recast those characters in a way that are useful to you today so that they're not icons, but they're actually figures that help guide you through today's tough challenges. We should mention there are multiple performances, at least two in Boston, so maybe we can tell people a little bit more about that. So there are two performances. One is um, on February 22nd at 8 p.m., and that's at Berkeley School of Music at the David Friend Recital Hall. And then the uh, second one is February 24th at 5.30 p.m., and that's at the United Parish of Auburndale in Newton. All right, thank you both, uh, Latifa Ali and Musakula Masakwai. We'll have more news Thank in just you. a moment.